Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kicking It with the Ninjas. So today we have got the five things to do in Upland every day, and these are things that we do religiously. So, Ko, how are you doing today? Uh, doing awesome, and uh, yeah, looking forward uh, uh, to this video and everything going on, and giving everybody some tips on just you know if you're active in the game, you can really make slow and steady progress. You know, depending on um if you're consistent with these actions um uh and no matter if you're you know just kind of dabbling in upland or if you're you know really into it um if you've put zero money in or if you've you know put quite a bit in you can um take these actions every day and and make solid progress so what's the what's number one where are we starting all right. I think, uh, so the first thing I do every day is I pull up Upland and I do my spark check-ins right away. So spark check-ins, it's easy. You just click the button and you're good to go. You're checked in for the day. And if you do that for the whole week, you get your spark. I think it's right around what 0 0.01, 0 0.02, somewhere in there. Uh, 0.03 is the biggest one I've got. So it's somewhere in that range. Um, so it's, it's easy spark, get it. And now you can use the spark to build. So if you're not doing that, you're not trying hard. So that's easy to do. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, along with that spark is I know every day, and I, I think you do this too, pretty religiously is check your, like your available spark and make sure that it's being staked and it's working for you. So put the spark hours um, to work for you make sure it's building towards something, whether it be in your community or on some type of project. So keep it working. If it's just sitting there, not doing anything, it's just going to waste. Yeah, in, in the beginning, you know, uh, when when I didn't have a lot of spark, I usually had all my spark in one place, you know, so I kind of knew when things were going to be done. But now we have community builds and contests and personal builds, so spark is kind of spread out a little bit. Um, so yeah, check in. The check in takes uh, two seconds, literally. So you just check in, and then boom, you're done. That's an easy thing to do to get free spark, and then. Um, uh, and then checking your spark takes an additional second and a half. So three and a half seconds uh, to check your spark daily and make sure that it is working for you. And, you know, I know spark right now with with uh, we're really looking for uh, functionality and things with structures. And I believe things will come in the future. So um, uh, definitely uh, just want that spark working and building for you. Yeah, there's, you know, sometimes you could spark and you know, within community projects and also get a chance to win free Upics or cars or, you know, there's all kinds of different things. I know we're currently doing one in our Hyde Park community and, you know, we're doing a community build for a racetrack going on and we're doing giveaways for that. So there's like 50,000 Upics up for grabs, I think a car. So there's always something to get involved in, whether it's with our community or another one that you're involved in, but don't miss out on that stuff. So... I think that covers spark. And again, that's something you want to do religiously. So what else have we got out there? What's something else that you do, Kale? Uh, so the second thing that we're doing is looking for deals every day. Um, you know, I, I have a uh, uh, upland allowance that I've given myself, you know, to make sure I stay uh, uh, responsible and, and accountable for, for upland. So uh, every day I just look for good deals. And you know, sometimes that's a node property, sometimes it's an under mint property, uh, and sometimes that's a property to flip and either get USD or, or Upix uh, into the game. So uh, I will go on to upix.world and look at the different um, uh, deals in the different communities. I check out Hyde Park. Um, I look for under mint deals in, in uh, Hyde Park, which is our community, and see if there's any good deals there. If I want to get some Upix into the game, I typically will flip in, in San Francisco. Um, and then, But then I also, you know, there's other, sometimes there's a block explorer I'm looking for. for uh, sometimes there's a node property I'm looking for. So I get on Upix.world and, and look at those properties and just kind of be patient and wait for a good deal. Yeah, I, I take about the same strategy. So sometimes I'll buy uh, for cash because you get a really good deal. You could find some really, you know, good under mint deals, I found a couple at like 38% last week, you know, so the UPEX earnings that you could get off of that to build your uh, profitability is great. You know, you build up that UPEX, you can buy other properties to increase your 
you know, uh, monthly earnings. So it all starts to add up if you do these things consistently. So um, as far as like Upland too, you know, one of the things that I found really helpful, because I missed on this a little bit at the beginning, is I didn't follow up on like all the the news and stay up to date on everything going on in Upland. And man, if you can stay up to date, it, it helps out so much to know what's going on. I would miss registrations. I had no idea when Spark Week was. I know when I did my first um, like promotion um, from, I think it was from Uplander to Pro or whatever it was. I didn't know that I should have done that on Spark Week. So I missed out on a lot of Spark. Um, so it really, it, it helps to stay informed. And as a new player, there wasn't as much stuff out there. There weren't as many resources when we first got involved. Um, but now there's a lot of resources out there. Uh, you've got the Discord, the Upland Discord. There's so much good information out there. And there's the little uh, chat group, uh, the Upland Cafe. And I got a wealth of knowledge from, you know, players that were there before us, like Uplando. And, um, you know, they, they're, they're out there and they're willing to share, you know, how to get better at this game. So take advantage of those resources. And um, I know for me that helped out a lot. So definitely stay up to date on uh, what's going on, whether it's through podcasts like you're listening to now or if it's, you know, through community discords. Yeah. And also, if you go to the Upland website and you click on community and it says news and events, uh, I usually check there uh, quite often just to make sure we're not missing anything, especially now. I, it seemed like when we started, there was uh, an announcement once a week or once every two weeks. Now there's stuff, multiple announcements per week, uh, competitions and contests. And um, I've won a lot of stuff from from Upland just by keeping in touch with what's going on, uh, entering different contests. I've won Upics and Block Explorers and all kinds of stuff just for just from staying up to date and participating in a few events. Uh, I won 10,000 Upics a few weeks ago just by uh, posting a uh, picture of like it was like the posting a picture of the street view like your favorite street view from your community so i went and posted one and they selected i think five or ten people to give away epics to and it's a free ten thousand epics just for staying up to date uh on the news and and simple things that can take you you know 10 to 10 seconds to 30 seconds uh to do so stay up to date on your on your news if you want to uh have more chances to win stuff Awesome. I missed out on that one. Where did you hear about that one? The Upland Discord? Um, yeah, they did a flash challenge. Uh, they Very did cool. a flash challenge and uh, uh, I ended up I ended up uh, uh, putting in a, a picture and got selected. So there's another I know they have the uh, lighted up Dan show is out there, too. And Dan does a good job with that. And he, he goes over like the weekly information. It's all basic stuff that's on the Upland um, community or the uh, Upland updates page. So you can yep. get that stuff there, but he just goes through a brief overview and they give away a block explorer every stream and they give away Upix every stream too. So, and you just have to put a keyword in, listen along and have fun with it. Um, so just another resource out there. So everybody likes to listen to different things. Some people like to read. So there's a lot of different outlets there. So take advantage and, and keep yourself informed so you don't miss out. Yeah. If you're a flipper, man, stay on top of this stuff and you can, you can uh, accumulate these things and flip them. If you're in a collector, uh, you can, you know, collect and, and keep these items. So uh, for whatever your goals or purposes are, you're um, uh, definitely want to stay in touch, which kind of goes to number four, which is uh, pretty similar, but it's being involved in the discords. And so that one is, um, you know, I kind of go through the different, popular discords that uh you know our our personal hyde park ninjas discord link below in the description uh then you can go to um you know some other nodes that we're involved in the upland discord and uh just kind of put my head in there they have things for sale again kind of checking for deals um announcements news and contests and giveaways actually so there are so many ways to win um free stuff in upland through the communities lots of uh lots of amazing communities uh, involved i'm not going to try and list them all right now um but uh so get involved in in your communities check the discords there's giveaways literally ha literally happening happening every single day um and so if you're involved you can win lots of cool stuff awesome 
And I think that, that that's a big part of it too. be involved in the communities, have fun with it. And then you got a chance to win stuff too. I know um, last week in our streams, you know, we announced, um, you know, we're looking for help with uh, musical stuff. We're not good with music and we're looking for somebody to put together some music and lyrics for the ninjas, um, you know, just for a promo uh, type video. So, you know, take advantage of that stuff and, um, you know, you never know what you could earn. So I know that particular contest, we're actually giving away USD. So $100 USD. So take, take advantage. So uh, for, I think the last one is uh, Treasure Hunts. Treasure Hunts is another easy one. This is a great way to earn Upix and or Spark. And I try to do at a minimum five per day. I know I can do, without even trying really hard, I can do a, a Treasure Hunt, standard Treasure Hunt in three minutes or less. You know, so if you can do five of those, I think everybody's got about 15 minutes a day, whether it's drinking coffee in the morning or winding down for the night, just click on Upland and take that 15 minutes. And man, if you earn 0.02 spark that day, it's worth it. That 0.02 spark, you know, it starts to build up and add up. And then before you know it, you're going to able to, you're going to be able to build more structures quicker. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I like to get squeeze in five to 10 uh, treasure hunts today. And when I first started, I was really slow at it. Uh, so with a, uh, with some practice, you can get a lot faster. Um, you know, if I'm, for me, it is kind of like a little, I just kind of use it as a stress reliever or just if I got 10 minutes, just kind of, you know, you get a little mental break, just kind of check out for a few minutes and, and relax and um, so just knock out a few treasure hunts i was pretty lucky yesterday because every treasure hunt um the first treasure hunt you do every day is free uh, there's no entry uh, you do have to pay the send fees to the properties but uh yesterday on my free uh treasure hunt i got spark on the free one so that Very was nice. that was pretty cool um and so so yeah doing doing a few every day whether it's one five uh, i'll say on the weekends if i have some time to kill i'll sit down and knock out quite a few and um uh which make i've made a lot of upix uh that way and have accumulated the majority of my spark that way yeah and it's interesting too with the treasure hunts sometimes you'll go into like a dry spell and you won't get spark but maybe your upix earnings is a little bit more uh this morning i was doing uh treasure hunts i did six <clears throat> before we got on stream and the first five every single one of them was like 290 which is like the minimum mm -hmm. that you can get and then yep. the sixth one, actually, no, I did, I did six. So the first four were 290. The fifth one I got spark was 0.02. And then the sixth one was 290 again. So yep. even though the upix earning wasn't as high, I, I made the spark. So, yep. you know, the spark is worth a lot more than that. What's one spark going for right now? Close to 500 bucks. Um, it's like $460. Yeah. Yeah. So it adds up quick. Yep. Yeah, yeah um, it, the percentage is uh, roughly one out of every 20 treasure hunts uh, is a spark chest. So that's the percentage. Keep in mind, I've, I've gone, I think probably my longest dry spell is about 60 hunts uh, with zero tre uh, spark chests. Well, but then like on the fourth side, so you know, after that, I got like three spark chests in a row. Yeah. And so it... it if you're consistent and you are, you know, just working the percentages and if you know the percentage percentages are there, it will even out over time, but you might have a long dry spell, uh, but it'll even out, you know, if you, if you stay consistent. Yeah. Mine is, I've kind of tracked mine and I, I've been in the same boat where I wouldn't get any for a long spell, but then you will get like two or three within six, you know, different hunts. So it really does yep. even out to yep. about 20. It does. So, yep. Well, I think that's it for today. Well, we wanted to keep it short. And, um, you know, this is just five things to do in Upland every day. And if you do these things consistently, uh, not financial advice, but you should see your, you know, your earnings grow in your Hyde Park. I'm sorry, not Hyde Park, but your Upland uh, portfolio should grow if you're doing these things consistently. So uh, just uh, keep in mind, too, some things that can take away from your Upland, um, like profits and stuff are things like, cars and things that you buy that are off market so that will pull away from your upix um and, and what you're earned within your portfolio so i know we went on sprees with buying cars and 
crazy stuff. I looked and my portfolio was down. I was like, what happened? I've got all this cool stuff, but not everything gets equated into your, um, you know, your portfolio. Not right now. That may change in the future. Who knows? Um, but right now, I know if you buy cars or things like that, that comes out of your UPEX earnings and your UPEX uh, pro, um, profile. The net worth. Yeah. Yeah. Net worth. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, uh, yeah, and plus uh, doing these things helps you to be engaged and have more fun. And uh, we love chatting with the community and doing contests. And, um, and you know, it's a lot more engaging than just going into Upland on your own and checking your account and, and not sharing and uh, conversing and speculating with everybody in the community. So uh, definitely it's a lot more fun to get involved. All right. Awesome, guys. Well, All don't right. forget to like and comment on the video. And, you know, if some of this stuff is working for you, comment, let us know. Okay, I know it's it's worked for us. So uh, let us know what's worked the best for you, what's been your favorite thing about Upland. So, all right, all right we'll guys, see you guys in the next one. In. All right, have a good day. All right, guys, see ya.